today I got a couple of exercises for you for the hamstring muscles which are a couple of muscles on the back of your upper leg. If you are a soccer player these muscles are very shortened and this is to avoid injuries during the soccer playing so flexible hamstrings are not very useful for soccer players. Anyways the first exercise is a standing hamstring stretch and this is probably an exercise that you already know. You can try to touch the floor if you are flexible enough otherwise just make sure that you keep your legs completely straight without bending your knees and reach towards your toes. You can also perform this exercise by sitting on the floor and make sure that your legs are in a straight line and that you don't bend your knees to make it easier because then it won't be a hamstring stretch anymore. And of course you can also perform this by going to one side, so only one leg and I call this the hamstring V stretch. Which you can also perform by standing. During all hamstring exercises it is important that you keep your back, lower back straight or at least in a position in which you don't feel the stress building up. Because this will result in some lower back problems which you want to avoid. The single leg seated hamstring stretch is kind of the same as sitting with two legs in front of you but this is a little bit easier and it can also help you to focus on one leg more than the other which improves your overall hamstring flexibility. And you can also try to stretch in different angles by placing your hands on the inner or outer side of your leg. The lying hamstring stretch is also a very common exercise but some people feel a kind of stress building up in the lower back when they are performing this exercise. So for that you can use a piece of rope or a towel to grab a hold of your leg and I will show you that in the next clip. Which you can see about now. So this is the lying rope hamstring stretch and what you will do is grab hold of a piece of rope or a towel and place it underneath your legs or your feet or whatever you prefer. And then you can simply lay back and you won't have to bend forward as much which will help you to relieve lower back stress. The next exercise that I will show you is the elevated hamstring stretch and for this I used a ladder. And this is very useful because you can put your legs on different heights which will be suitable for beginners and those who are more advanced. The foot that is standing on the floor can have some different positions and the first one is when your toes are pointing the same way as your stretching leg and the second way that you can do it and which will stretch your hamstrings in a different way is by pointing your toes and also the rest of your body away from your hamstrings which you can see here. Make sure that you alternate legs and when you want to make it more difficult you can lean forward a little bit more and this will put some more stress on your hamstring. So here you can see the side variation which will help you to increase overall hamstring flexibility. As it is always a good thing to stretch your muscles in different positions. Two more exercises to go and the first of these two is a deep hamstring stretch which probably is also pretty familiar. So what you will do is you will place one leg with the toes pointing towards the ceiling to the side and this will help you to stretch your hamstrings and you can lean down a bit more to make it more difficult. And this is what I call the modified front split because only your front leg is in the position that is needed to achieve a front split and your other leg will be bent and it will be behind your body. So if you are going to do a full lower body stretching workout routine then I recommend you to go back to the beginning of this video and click on the link that, that I placed on the video that you could see and in there I will explain you more about some basic tips and you should just choose a couple of these exercises to put in your flexibility workout routine. And in my flexibility playlist you can see all the other muscle groups in your legs that you should work out to improve your overall flexibility. So the common question is what music do you like? 
Subscribe to my channel, leave some comments on this video and rate this video or add this to your favorites to help me out a lot. Thank you for watching and see you next time.